So OBGYN chemo, this is carboplatin. It is in the same family of chemotherapy agents as cisplatin and oxaloplatin, being that they're all platinum-based chemotherapy, but carbo is actually a second generation, which means it has less toxicities, but it's less potent. Still though, it is an alkylating agent, which means that it cross-links DNA molecules, specifically purines. This causes structural changes in the DNA, ultimately leading to breakage. But this chemo is not cell cycle specific. It's given either IV or IP. The dosage for this is using the Calvert equation, which is the total milligrams given is gonna be equal to a target area under the curve, uh, usually AUC of six, but five or six is okay multiplied by a component of GFR, GFR plus 25. An AUC of six was used in a GOG 262, which was assessing about dose dense taxol. But anyways, the side effects include nausea, vomiting, fatigue. You can have elevations in your ALKFOS as well as your AST, and it also can lead to alopecia. That being said though, the dose limiting toxicity is gonna to be myosuppression with significant concern for thrombocytopenia. This is different from cisplatin, which had the nephrotoxicity, and oxaloplatin, which is gonna have your neurotoxicity. The excretion of this is still gonna be through the kidneys. 70% usually comes out within the first 24 hours. And the other notable with carbo is that usually it's given as a doublet, especially for like ovarian cancer, right? But you, you're gonna be giving the taxol first, and then you're gonna be giving the carbo after because there's a synergistic benefit when given in that order. And that's carboplatin, the more you know.